Are you looking for a 5.1 soundbar with Dolby and DTS support along with the rear wireless speakers? Dolby DTS true wireless speakers in the budget of 35,000 rupees or $400? There is one product which can check all these conditions. Samsung has recently launched a 5 out drone true wireless soundbar that is T670. In this video, we are going to talk about the soundbar in 7 different categories. Items in the box, setup and wall mounting, speaker performance, supported audio formats, sound modes and features, connectivity options and finally buying gate. Before diving into the video, if you guys are new to Maimon Tech Tips, please subscribe to Maimon Tech Tips for more useful tech videos like this. We post tech videos like this regularly. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the video. First, let's have a quick intro of this product. This product launched in the year 2020. It's around the price range of 28,000 rupees. In festival seasons, you can get this product around 25,000 rupees also. This is a 5.1 channel soundbar with wireless rear speakers. This is one of the soundbar which has lot of accessories in the box. Let's see the accessories one by one. The box contains a soundbar main unit, subwoofer, remote control even with the batteries. It has power cords, AC adapter, one good HDMI cable and wall mounting gate and wall mounting accessories. Along with this we get wireless receiver module which is used to pass the signal to the rear speakers, surround speaker and power card again for wireless receiver and a speaker cable for the rear speakers. We'll talk about all these items in the connectivity options how these are going to be used. Now let's move on to the setup and wall mounting. Since this is a 5.1 soundbar and it has a true wireless soundbar, the wall mounting is going to be a little bit tricky. So before buying the soundbar, make sure that this complex wall mounting option can be easily suit for your living room. When it comes to the setup, we can split the setup into three different categories. That is setting up the subwoofer, setting up the main unit and the third one is setting up the rear speakers. Let's see that one by one. When it comes to the main unit setup, it has a separate power card for that. So you need to connect that. And when it comes to the subwoofer, again it has a separate power card. And when it comes to the rear channel receiver, again it has a separate power card. So while wall mounting, the one major factor you have to notice is this onboard needs three power source. One for the subwoofer, one for the main unit and one for the rear speakers. How we need to configure the rear speaker is you have to plug in the power source for the rear adapter. You have to connect the rear speakers via wire into the rear adapter. So basically the rear speakers are not truly in wireless. It has a wire connection but the wire connection has to go into the rear channel receivers. So basically there is no wire connection between the soundbar unit and the subwoofer or the soundbar unit and the rear channel receivers. So in that case it's a true wireless so which is actually an appreciable point. The Samsung haven't mentioned what is the exact impedance of this soundbar speakers. So after doing some research we found it should be around 6 ohm impedance for the speakers and 3 ohm impedance for the subwoofer. Considering the point when it comes to the voice clarity because of its 6 ohm impedance and a center channel speaker it's going to give a clear crisp voice clarity so even in low volume you can expect a clear voice clarity when it comes to the sound sound even the sound sound speakers are supposed to be 6 ohm in the soundbar since this soundbar has a dedicated rear speaker the surround sound is also going to be very clear and it's going to be more enjoyable and gonna give cinematic experience when it comes to the bass looks like the subwoofer has 3 ohm impedance with a lower 3 ohm impedance it's gonna give more punchy bass the major plus point of the soundbar is the supported audio formats. Most of the soundbar out there supports only Dolby or just DTS or just LPCM. But in this case, this soundbar supports all three formats. When it comes to the LPCM, that is stereo channel, it can support up to 2.1 channel. In case of Dolby Digital, it can support up to 5.1 channel and DTS, it can again support up to 5.1 channel. One important factor is DTS virtual X sound mode. DTSX is also similar to Dolby Atmos but I don't think having DTSX for the soundbar gonna make sense because it doesn't have any dedicated high channel so object big sound system not gonna have more impact in the soundbar. One major point to notice in the soundbar LPCM gonna support only up to 2.1 channel which means if your TV doesn't support Dolby Digital or DTS audio formats then with the stereo or PCM output this soundbar gonna give only 2 channel output. One major advantage in buying soundbars like Sony or Samsung is the software system they have. In the soundbar also we have lot of sound features which is going to be really handy in terms of listening experience. This soundbar has sound modes like standard, surround sound, game, 
Smart Mode, DTS, Virtual X. When it comes to the standard, it's going to give a original internet feel of the sound. If the sound output has 3.1 channel, it's going to be played in 3.1. If it's in 5.1, it's going to be played in 5.1. And it has a dedicated surround sound, which is going to enhance the surround sound experience. One important point to note is the one dedicated gaming sound mode. We'll talk about that in a minute. And we have a smart mode which actually analyzes the content and gonna automatically provide the optimal sound for the content. Here the DTS Virtual X is going to be used to give a 3D format of any content which is going to be played in the soundbar. If we talk about the DTS support, even the Amazon Prime or Netflix not going to support the DTS. When it comes to the game, the DTS support is going to be really handy. So a soundbar with a dedicated DTS support and a dedicated gaming mode, both two are gonna give an immersive gaming experience for the DTS enabled games. So if you are planning to play the soundbar with an Xbox or PlayStation, then it's going to be a beast. When it comes to the connectivity option, there are going to be only three major options to connect the soundbar to get a proper sound. One is via HDMI cable, and another is via optical cable, and another is via Bluetooth. Yes. Here we don't have a dedicated aux connector, which means you won't be able to play sound via aux. Since it's a true wireless soundbar, ignoring aux makes sense. Looks like similar to Apple's no headphone jack iPhone, Samsung is trying to create no aux home theaters. When it comes to connecting the soundbar via HDMI, it's going to be two different ways. If you have an external device like Xbox or PlayStation, you can use the HDMI out and connect it to the HDMI port of the soundbar and then connect HDMI arc from the soundbar to the TV. So in this case, the video and audio output will go to the soundbar first and then the soundbar will transfer the video signal from ARC to the TV. In this way, you can actually even connect the soundbar to the TV which doesn't even have ARC support or you can connect to a projector which usually doesn't have an ARC. So if you don't have an external device, it's not going to be difficult. You can just use TV and connect the soundbar via HDMI ARC. The audio signal from TV will flow through the soundbar via ARC cable. When it comes to the optical input, you can connect the external device optical out to the soundbar or TV's optical out to the soundbar. Even with the optical output, the PCM is going to support only 2.1 channel where Dolby Digital or DTS will be supporting 5.1 channel. One major advantage of the soundbar is Bluetooth Multi-Connect. In this case, you can use Bluetooth to connect two different mobiles at the same time. When it comes to the buying gate, if you are someone who is looking for Dolby and DTS support in a single soundbar, yes, then definitely this soundbar is the first pick. That makes sense because if you are investing on a soundbar in this price range, it's definitely good to have both these sound formats. Since it has a dedicated DTS support, if you are planning to buy the soundbar for gaming purpose using Xbox or PlayStation, then it's going to be mind blowing. One major point to notice, a true wireless support. Yes, even the soundbar doesn't even have a dedicated aux port. What Samsung mentioned as true wireless, they have actually achieved it. As we saw in the connectivity option, since the soundbar can take input from the external device and pass video signal back to the TV, it's really useful when it comes to the projector because mostly the projector doesn't have a dedicated arc support. One important factor to notice, it has a dedicated DTSX support to give an enhanced 3D virtual channel. And these are some of the points you need to look before buying the soundbar. This soundbar needs three power source, one for the soundbar and another for subwoofer and another for the rear channel receivers, which is going to be really complicated in terms if you don't have a planned electrical wiring. One major point to notice, this soundbar doesn't have a dedicated Dolby Atmos. One major point to notice, this soundbar has a dedicated rear channel receiver. There is going to be a receiver on which both the rear speakers are going to be attached. It's going to be really difficult in terms of wall mounting the rear speakers because you also need to think about keeping the rear speaker receiver somewhere or even wall mounting that. One more drawback of this soundbar is, it can support only up to 2.1 channel in stereo or PCM mode. The most of the DTA channel doesn't support Dolby Digital, which means you are going to just get 2.1 channel with the soundbar. I hope you guys like this video. If yes, please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my own tech tips for more useful tech videos. You can watch our other videos right here. If you guys have any questions regarding the soundbar or if you guys are confused between a different product and this product, please leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll try to answer as soon as possible. We have answered all the comments till now we have got. See you guys in the next video. Until then, bye bye. See you soon.